Hello and welcome to a new tutorial series by Dev Creations. Um, in this uh, video tutorial, the first one in the series, we will uh, take a look at C programming language. And uh, after this series, we will go ahead and learn C++ and C Sharp. Um, you could, of course, ask, is it still relevant to learn C programming language? And the answer is yes, it is. Um, first, it's a very good learning tool. You can um, you can see how uh, some functions are uh, implemented that modern language already provide you with. So, like uh, lists or something. We will uh, implement um, these functions by ourselves, and we will learn how they operate. And uh, this will help our understanding for higher languages or modern languages. So um, this tutorial is of course uh, for beginners, but is also for already experienced programmers. It's always valuable to learn um, a language that is so close to the system. Mm. We will start using uh, Visual Studio Code. I like this IDE, it's free and it's uh, platform independent as you can see here. Um, I am on a Linux system. I have an RPM based system. Um, you can, if you want, you can uh, also use this uh, IDE, but of course you can um, use any IDE you want. But uh, be aware that I will show this IDE in this uh, tutorial and um, you will learn some cool features it uh, provides you with. So, and it, it can help you uh, develop your software. Um, Maybe it's also nice to know that uh, we will um, take a look at uh, frameworks and some tools like the Unreal Engine and uh, Unity. We will also um, develop some little games and uh, deploy them to our phone. Mm. In C, we will take a little look at uh, Game Boy programming. We will, we will write a little... Um, a little game or something I don't know um, for uh, Game Boy, and we will start it with uh, the Visual Boy Advance emulator. Um, okay, um, so after you have uh, downloaded and installed the Visual Studio Code uh, environment, you will need to download the compiler for C. <coughs> um, on Windows, I suggest you download MinGW. Um, if you are on a Linux system like I am, you download the build essentials for Debian and uh, the Devil basis, I think it is, for uh, OpenSUSE and other Linux. Mm, after you installed these tools, uh, on Windows, maybe you have to set your environment uh, variables. Just search for it. Uh, online you can find uh, a lot of uh, tutorials how to install them properly. I mean, uh, min, min GW. All the build essentials will already uh, come up with the command line tool. If you open up your uh, command line and you can use this and you will see the GCC version and then it's fine then you are ready to go <coughs> um, let me clear that you can find this uh, nice little console mm. if you go to view you have uh, some nice features, nice windows here that can help you writing your software and you have the integrated terminal. I am not sure what's the shortcut for English keyboard layout so uh, I will just pass that now. If you, if you need that uh, you can open the integrated terminal, maybe you have the shortcut here, you see it. for me it, it doesn't show up um, or you are using your 
uh, command line tool from Windows or Linux, that's also just fine. Just uh, be sure to navigate to your folder. Mm. Your working directory, you can open that with uh, Control K and Control after you press uh, Control K, you will see a message that it's pressed and then you can press Control O. And once you do that, a window will pop up. You can choose the folder. You see I'm in uh, the folder C. You can choose that and you will have your project environment. Okay, after that's all said and done, you can start to write a C code. We will start. Oh, by the way, uh, after you create a new file with uh, the .c extension, that's the common extension for C programming language, um, maybe Visual Studio Code will ask you if you want to install an extension for C and C++. I highly recommend it to install this extension as it will provide you with syntax highlighting and uh, that's that will come in handy when you start to write your own software. Okay. So you will create a new file, uh, call it whatever you like, um, and you will insert the Hello World program. Mm. <coughs> we will, at the start, we will not really explain what uh, these lines mean. I mean, line one, two, three, and uh, yeah, including the last one. Mm. Because for beginners, it is a little bit complicated. Mm. Just so you know, this one will include the standard input and output library. Uh, we needed to uh, provide some text to the user. And this one is our entry point for, for, the, for the program itself. So uh, this is important. This name is important. Mm. After you compile your program and you have an executable output, Mm, the the program will try to find this entry point. If it can't find it, it won't start. Um, so in the first few videos, we will just work in between those curlies. Um, you can see I already came up with another function inside of here, and uh, we will provide it with some text here hello world backslash n that uh, backslash n will just write a new line to the console so it will look a little bit um, nicer okay um, now let's run that program open up your terminal your command line window and uh, then you will run GCC that's why you had to install mingw um, the first parameter is uh, the name of your file. In my case, it is 01.c. And you can also go on, have a minus O and uh, or dash O. And um, I will just write 01 here too. This will make sure we get a new file is also called 01 if you are on windows you might want to add um, dot exe <coughs> now we can run that file on our terminal and we will see the output is hello world mm, this one dash o 01 is not really required so you can also just write 01.c. If you do that, the compiler will um, provide you with a default file called a.out. And uh, you can see that here. Um, you can just run that like any other file. It's just for you. You can name your output file for your convenience. Uh, you can also, of course, go ahead just use 
the a dot out is also okay. <coughs> okay, that's it for the first uh, tutorial. Uh, what did you learn? What what is important to keep? Well, the first thing is don't give yourself too much pressure. It is. Uh, it will take some time until you can remember all of that stuff. Just make sure you will follow through the tutorial I will guide you. Um, I will provide you with the knowledge you need and uh, I will give you some advice for, yeah, for learning better and for understanding C better. So the first thing you just need to remember is we will work in between these lines and uh, remember printf is for outputting text <coughs> mm, remember you need to write the text in quotes and uh, yeah that's it the other stuff around just try to write it every time every time we will start a new file write that over and over again and after you repeat that so many times you will just have it in your blood and you will never forget that again Okay, uh, in the next video tutorial we will cover variables and uh, doing some simple math functions and uh, then we will already start to do some interesting stuff. So uh, yeah, just stay with us and uh, I hope you enjoy the video tutorial.